Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kepler Space Program. So today I'll just be showing off some LV-1 powered rockets or jet-like machines. So here we are. I have three versions of it. It's quite simple. Um, the first version I only have one LV-1 engine and that's the one that I'm talking about. This is essentially a glider. I have the electric Pack? Bank, yeah, the bank. A wing there, whole heap of fuel, and this goes well. So it's on, and it's slow, but it's very stable. It's not. Look at this. If you move it yourself, then it might smash. But with SAS, it is almost 100% safe. And the wheel placement was purely an accident. And check this out. Lights. There are lights on the small gear bays. Off, on, off, on. I did not know about that. A neat feature I found recently. Now we should be gliding soon. Here we go. Voila! Very fast. What a neat glider. So, if you want to travel the planet, then you know you can go with this design. It may take you a while, like a couple months. <laughs> You'll get there eventually. You know, it's almost as if you're like, if I turn left, it's as if you're sliding. It's pretty weird. Yeah. It's not that fast, but definitely will last you a while if we check the fuel yeah there's one fuel tank almost used up but we have quite a few although we haven't went far <laughs> maybe in space this would actually work much better or another planet which doesn't have much of an atmosphere and gravity but alright landing is pretty simple you don't really need to be an expert and uh, this is going fast but yeah voila landing successful very easy next one okay so in mark 2 we have many more LV-1 engines I think it's a bit more noisier I'm not sure I think there's about six here. Should be able to lift up. And if you check meters per second, we're going quite fast. Very fast compared to only one LV1 engine. Very nice. And it goes almost almost perfectly straight. Almost. I do have to turn it slightly at the end. Powerful. Let's go up. I noticed that it slows down dramatically when you go high. Like right now, look how slow it's going. But then, if you point the nose down, and we're turning to the left for some unknown reason. It's what I was saying before about the sliding issue. We we'll go straight down on an angle, and look how fast we go now. pretty neat uh, except for that this is the one oh. <laughs> uh, not powerful enough Ooh. okay that looks cool on hey what the <laughs> we're trying electricity from the capsule what a nice Okay, next design. Alrighty, so this is a Mark III design of the LV-1 powered engines and or rocket. There are many more, as you can see. There is plenty. It's more heavier. As you look on the wings, when I lift up, it bends. But it works just fine. 
and it's shaking. Usually, if you have an aircraft like this that shakes, you may need a couple struts. Oh, did I not end the previous flight? Uh, you know, that's just gonna build up if I don't end the flight. And then it'll cause lag. So yeah, 100 something meters per second. Pretty good. Let's go high. Up, 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 up. Haha, <laughs> pretty shaky. Down. Be careful when you're going down, it will take itself. Hundred and forty, fifty, sixty, lift up. And survived. Yeah. Too fast. And turn right is obviously good. I think. Actually, I haven't really tested it out properly. Turn rate is fine. Just be careful. Uh, that was not part of the plan. Those things can float. All right, so you can make a boat out of them. But nice. So, all right, guys. So, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the design fairly easy to make. Uh, the only problem I had, or I had, was you can't place any fuel tanks, the Oscar B fuel tank on the wing, so essentially I had to use the strut block, I don't know the name, cubic octagonal, what? Octagonal? Octagonal? That's right, octagonal strut. Yes, I'm modular girder segment. Yeah, I only used this thing, cubic octagonal, and I just placed it on the side like that, and then you can place the fuel tank. Uh, if I can get it. Can I get it? No. Yes, I can get it. So there it is. That's main thing for struts, and I screwed this thing up. Yes, so control Z is what I pressed, and that is done. So thanks for watching. And have a nice day.